The female pelvis is a complex and vital structure that plays key roles in movement, weight support, reproduction, and excretion. Its unique design supports childbirth and accommodates specific reproductive organs. The female pelvis consists of four major components, starting with the bones. The ilium, the largest and broadest part of the pelvis. The ischium, the lower posterior part that bears weight when sitting. The pubis, the anterior portion, joined at the pubic symphysis. And the sacrum and coccyx, the lower part of the spine that connects with the pelvis. The joints include the sacroiliac joints that connect the sacrum to the ilium, and the pubic symphysis, a cartilage joint connecting the two pubic bones. The pelvic floor muscles, including levator ani and coccygeus, support pelvic organs and control urination and defecation. Internal organs include the uterus, site for fetal development during pregnancy. The ovaries produce eggs and hormones while fallopian tubes transport eggs to the uterus. The bladder stores urine and the rectum stores and expels feces. In reproductive function, ovulation occurs as the ovaries release an egg each month. After fertilization, the egg implants in the uterus for fetal growth. During childbirth, the pelvis widens and softens to allow delivery of the baby. The pelvis transfers the weight of the upper body to the legs. It provides stability during walking, standing, and sitting. The bladder stores and expels urine, while the rectum expels feces, aided by pelvic floor muscles. Compared to the male pelvis, the female pelvis is wider and shallower. It has a larger pelvic inlet and outlet for childbirth and a greater pubic angle. Clinical conditions include pelvic floor dysfunction, causing loss of bladder or bowel control. Pelvic inflammatory disease affects reproductive organs through infection. Fractures may result from falls or accidents, requiring careful treatment. Pelvic size and shape are critical during childbirth, making obstetric assessment essential. The female pelvis is not only a structural foundation for movement and support, but also the center of reproductive and excretory functions. Understanding its anatomy and physiology is essential for medical professionals, educators, and anyone interested in women's health.